stocks. All right, let's take stock of energy with ATP Oil and Gas. They boast a unique business model. The big integrated oil companies, they go in, they find the, well, the oil, and then ATP buys them and gets them into production. They do the dirty work. So far, they've seen a big run. For example, the stock, it's more than a double. Al Reese is the CFO, and he joins us from Houston. Al, welcome to the program. Good to have you back. Good to be back on with Penn. Good to talk to you today. All right. Now, Al, uh, explain, explain something that happened uh, pretty recently. This is uh, sure. a launch. You were in just outside of Corpus Christi, Texas, and you launched a, Correct. well, let's call it a 50, what is a house, how tall would you say ATP Titan is? What, a 50-story building? That's essentially exactly what it is right now. That's just the whole part. We still have the top sides to lift on. Uh, that's under process. Uh, those barges uh, have the top sides waiting to be to towed out. So, uh, yeah, it's 50 stories now. By the time it's all finished, it'll be a little over 70 stories. All right, so you're going to have a 70-story structure uh, anchored to the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico in an area called Mississippi <laughs> Canyon. Tell me, once it's in Mississippi Canyon and operating, what's it going to to do. Once it gets on, it should, uh, we have four wells that we'll be putting on. I'll talk about it just in a second where we are. But uh, what will happen is it will start its production cycle. We'll bring the wells on in series. In other words, one right after the other. Take oh, probably six months to get from very first well to the last well. And that will put us at about 25,000 barrels of production per day just from that location. Uh, gas will be anywhere from probably 40 to 60 million a day uh, initially. Uh, at that location that will more than double the production that we have in the company both absolute volumes uh, as well as production rate that's right. the reason we've spent the kind of money we have Go all ahead. right now well I was going to say Al then once you've towed this out there and positioned it in the deep water Gulf you've also got to hook up those pipelines in order to bring the oil Correct. out Yes, where we are with the uh, infrastructure right now, it has been towed out, it was uprighted. There are some excellent, and I'm talking about excellent pictures in our presentation uh, that we recently did, Paul Beaumont, our chairman and founder, did in Miami uh, earlier this week. And it shows the actual tilting of the unit to see this uh, thing go from uh, vertical, excuse me, from horizontal to vertical. Uh, the mooring process is underway right now. We've got a lot of the mooring lines connected. We have a few more. The top sides are sitting on the barges. They're waiting to be towed out once we get the mooring process a little further along. The drilling, the Ocean Victory is on location. It's ready to start. It's drilling uh, of Atwater, not drilling, but completion at Atwater 63. The project is going very, very, very nicely. In spite of some of the uh, setbacks we had earlier with Hurricane Ida, uh, we're essentially on schedule and trying to get this thing on production first part of next year. All right, so that's the Gulf of Mexico. Tell me what's going on in the North yes. Sea for you. North Sea is uh, something we're beginning to concentrate on. Uh, Telemark has been what we've talked about, uh, but Cheviot, we have the hull being built in China. It's a different concept hull than the, than the Titan. Uh, the Titan hull is a three-aspect uh, hull. The Octobuoy is a four-aspect hull, has four canisters on it. Uh, it should be finished the early part of 2011. We will then bring it probably to the United States where we will begin some of the top sides, uh, may do some of the top Top sides in China may do some of the top sides uh, in Europe. It should be on location by the end of 2011, 2012 uh, to start its next production life, and, and that will be at Cheviot. Cheviot today is probably even larger than Telemark in absolute reserves. I think we'll have an uptick in reserves uh, at Telemark later this year when the reserve engineers finish it. Then we'll see which one's larger, Telemark or Cheviot. Be All right, well, we're going to look forward to having an update on both of those projects. I want to thank you very much, Al. Reese, the CFO of ATP Oil and Gas. Come